I once lost all my parents' pension money, $90,000 in a single trade. And that day, I discovered the four principles that turned around my trading career forever and turned me into a trading millionaire. In the next few minutes, you will learn the four core principles that separate amateur retail traders from trading professionals that are profitable for decades. My name is Alex Duadari, and you know me as the ex-hedge fund manager that quit the industry to live this freedom lifestyle and to teach everyday people like you how they can do it themselves too, to beat the market and to be consistent and profitable. The first principle is trading is rewarding when you learn. And that is a lifelong mission. Even I today, I learn every single day. I dedicate multiple hours a day to my learnings every day, even at this stage of success and knowledge and experience. And that is something that you absolutely need to understand. You need to be a perpetual learner and you need to learn first before you can earn. Most people do a mistake here. They think the learning is easy and quick and they can overnight become a millionaire. And the problem with that is, even though with all the resources and abilities that are accessible to you today through the internet, there is still the challenge for you to make the right choices and to really learn and walk the walk. And the best advice I can give you is to learn from a professional that is having the trading success that you want for yourself. Because if you learn just from content creators or people that are more show-offs than real traders, then you will not really learn how it actually works, right? And this is where a lot of confusion is in a social media space, a lot of noise. So make sure that you cut through the noise and find the right person to learn from. Also, there is no bad experience. Every experience is a learning. You have to learn from your unsuccessful attempts as well and from your successful attempts. Now, the way you do that is you have to journal, document, review, Obviously, after you've developed a strategy in the first place, it has a chance to win. This is also part of learning. And, but you have to frame your mind in a right way that you don't consider losses as a failure. You have to learn to deal with losses and unsuccessful attempts because in every one of those attempts, successful and unsuccessful, lies a learning that you need to capture and understand, and that will help you to be continuously profitable going from there. Also, stay updated with what is going on in the market, the macroeconomics, the central banks, the geopolitical situations, and all of these developments, crypto market, commodities, whatever is interesting for you that you are trading, you need to be on top of the narratives, not necessarily to take bets in any one of direction, but to see if they are in any shape or form interfering with your strategy approach or if they bring any turmoil and cross currents your way, right? So it's important that you also never let go of the narrative. It's actually like, a, it's very exciting. It's like a telenovela. Every day is a new episode, a new cliffhanger, a new drama. I personally, I love it. So I'm made for it. So it's really helpful if you're interested in that, that you delve into it don't spend all your day doing that, obviously, because then again, you are addicted to yeah, fear porn or whatever you want to call it. So it's important that you find a balance in all these things. But nevertheless, be a lifelong learner. Be someone that is willing to learn, that wants to learn, and that is humble enough to learn, and also, you know, hungry for that learning. The second principle is trading is rewarding when you are not just stuck in theory, but when you apply it. You need to walk the walk. So after you've done learning, you build a strategy and you've done all of these things that actually equip you to be successful on the market, in theory, you now have to take it to the market and do it. Start with a paper trading account, with a demo account. Don't risk too much money because again, if you burn yourself too much or you actually lose all the money that you have, then you cannot fight to live another day. So that would be pretty foolish. Also, as you go out in the market to execute what you have learned and developed before, you will discover there is a gap between these two things. And that gap is something that you will want to be closing step by step by step. So first you need to find out where is the difference between what I want to be doing, what I'm actually doing. What are the reasons that there are differences between these two things, right? And don't be afraid of making mistakes of having losses. Again, if they are in a controlled space, in a controlled environment, and again, very important, you document all of that, and then you review what you are doing, you will find out, you will be able to put your finger exactly where it needs to be put, which is the things that you will need to improve. So for some people, it might be that they are afraid to pull the trigger. 
for whatever reason. They're not following their rules. Then you have to, you know, make yourself aware of these things. A lot in trading has to do with having clarity of mind and decisiveness in the heat of the moment, following exact trained rules that you are confident in because you have tested them and they have a um, data-based statistical edge, right? So it's important then that you actually, when you put it into application, you find out where and when you're going off board, off script, so that you can fix that. And I can tell you, this is absolutely fixable. And in the process, you actually become even a more capable and happier human being with yourself because your self-awareness is growing so, so much that it also reflects in any other area of life. So that's why application alone is not going to solve it. You need to review your application and you need to have the documentation as you execute. When you put all these things together, first the learning, then the application and the review of the application, you are already... Ha, further ahead than 90% of most people on the market. Principle number three is trading is rewarding when you persist. Super important. Do not jump from one strategy to the next all the time. Also, don't give up so quickly on any one thing that you're doing. You need to see it through. See it through, and then again, as you see it through, document and review so that you can improve what you are doing. When you find out, for example, man, scalping is not for me, day trading is not for me, then you can go on a bigger time frame. You can still, for example, stay in the same market that you want to be trading. You can still try to trade similar type of patterns, but you don't necessarily have to throw everything overboard. And this is a mistake that a lot of people do. They do the classic strategy hopping. They jump from one strategy to the next because they literally do two trades with one strategy and they don't work out and then they think the strategy doesn't work because they are, don't understand what makes a strategy work in the first place, which brings us right to the learning part. You need to learn that first. But it is important that you persist. If you cannot have persistence and you don't expect that you will be required to be persistent, then you will not make it in trading. I'm sorry to break it to you. But when you do, you will actually make it. And again, the great thing about trading is that you do not need to have inherent talents. You do not need to be talented like a singer or an athlete. Everyone can make it in trading with the right discipline and persistence and the learnings and the right process that he's following or she. So very important, persist. Don't give up. Don't jump from one thing to the next. Stay on the process. Stay in the market. Build experience in the market. Don't forget, a lot of traders have years of experience before they actually made it big. So what makes you so special that you think you are going to be the one that will have that overnight? All things considered, you can make it faster than ever in any time of history. So that already is a great opportunity that you can take advantage of. So don't spoil this opportunity. Don't lose out on it. Because consistency and patience are key in trading. And they will always be. Principle number four is trading is rewarding when you are passionate about it. Super important. If you're just in it for the Lamborghinis, the Rolexes, the chicks, the traveling, the whatever, probably you will not have enough grit to make it through what is necessary to become a millionaire trader. You might have a few successes here and there, but it takes more than that. And that is why it needs to be something that excites you. You need to be wanting to have interest in your system, your rules, your ability to put them into action. Your documentation needs to be spot on. Your review process needs to be really in place. You know, you don't, you know, um, yeah, lazy out, chicken out of things, but you actually face your demons and you find out solutions and you try them out and you fail, and you refail, but you fail forward, and then, boom, you make a leap. And then you can even access external capital these days easier than ever again. So you have all the ingredients, but be passionate about it. Because when you are passionate, chances are you will see results because you are going to put in the necessary efforts, right? And your daily enthusiasm will give you the drive to walk the extra mile. Remember, it's never crowded on the extra mile. That goes for anywhere and in trading as well. And because most people treat trading like a gamble, then it's actually your opportunity to take their money. Because look, it's a zero-sum game. You win what other people lose. So it's your decision to decide on which side of that equation you want to sit. And like my passion for the markets, for my systems, for new ideas, for development, uh, for thinking through, for cracking nuts, basically, riddles and all these things... It has grown with the years. It has not gone away. 
And that's why I definitely ask you here, are you sure that you want to be that passionate about trading? For me, it's a clear yes, a clear, clear, clear yes from the very first day on. And if that's the case for you, then you have great, great, great opportunities and chances to make a life like literally no other job has. Look, I'm living anywhere in the world where I want. I choose a sunny place. I collect cars. I travel. I'm here for my family all day long. You know, I don't need to go to a boss, no commute, none of these things. And those are realities of trading. Maybe even things you can only achieve with trading. You don't have, you know products that you need to sell. You don't have customers. You don't have uh, stock. Uh, you don't have warehouses. You don't have anything. No licenses. None of these things are relevant to you. And you can access third-party capital. You get funded. And, you know, there's so many beautiful things about that profession. Please, if you are serious about it, you owe it to yourself to not forget the four principles. If you follow those four principles, and I repeat them to you in a minute again, then you will have the biggest and highest chance to succeed in an area that is going to give you a dream life, okay? Learn, apply, persist, be passionate. If you like this video, share and like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.